What's wrong, Polly? Why all this noise? Usually only raise a ruckus whenever a stranger enters the room. But there's nobody here, so calm down. The parrot starts screeching the minute it catches sight of me and I get too close. Very annoying. The handkerchiefs are far too small to cover the cage. Max, I've got something for you. wondered what good that needlework course I took at school would do me. Now I know. There's no way I can squeeze through there. I'm far too... muscular. Mina is down there. I can pass small items through the bars to give them to her. Nina, I've got something for you. What's wrong, Polly? Why all this noise? Usually only raise a ruckus whenever a stranger enters the room. But there's nobody here, so calm down. The parrot starts screeching the minute it catches sight of me and I get too close. Very annoying. Nina, I've got something for you. People used to cook meals on this <laughs> a long, long time ago. The stove won't work without fuel. What? There's everything here that I need to light a fire? How odd. I usually have to go find some five million items first. But who's complaining? I'm sure it will be much harder the next time around. In it goes. There's still a little something missing to make the stuff in here really delectable. It's always a good idea to have some herbs handy. Not that I have the faintest clue what I might need them for. Nina, I've got something for you. Nina, I've got something for you. Nina, I've got something for you.
In it goes. There, that doesn't look half bad. One of two things might happen. Either this will actually turn into cheese soup, or the whole caboodle will blow up in one big bang. Well, it didn't explode, and it doesn't even taste all that bad. I'm delighted. I'll pour some of this cheese soup into the vase. What's wrong with you? You're crying like a baby that's lost its teddy bear. Why do these things always happen to me? What is wrong? Okay, I'll tell you, but keep it to yourself. Don't worry. Tell me. The prisoner got away. Bummer. Yes, again. Again? Yes. It's happened to me before. Back home. That is really unfortunate. Unfortunate? This is the end. Who is going to employ a prison guard whose prisoners keep escaping? Hmm. See? My first job was just perfect. The building was secure, and I had nothing else to do all day but watch soccer and eat cheese soup. It was paradise. Until Eve came along. Eve? No, I think her name was Nina. Something like that anyway. I have no idea how she got away. And then I got a second chance here. And look what happened. When that chick was locked up here, I said to myself, Spivak, that kid looks a lot like the prisoner from back then. Better make sure this one doesn't give you the slip as well. You know what they say. History repeats itself. Could you let me into the prison for a minute? What for? Maybe you overlooked something. I didn't. Come on, just let me take a look. No, I'm just going to sit here and lament for a while. Oh, great. Still no idea where your prisoner went? No. I've been trying to give up watching soccer during working hours since I took this job. But then, this TV set suddenly appeared, and there was a cup match going on between... Oh, never mind. It's all over now, anyway. Calm down. We'll find a way out of this. How about watching some soccer? I've already tried that, but the batteries in the TV are dead. And I'm out of cheese soup, too. Life can be so tough. I'll go and look for your escapee. Uh, I doubt you'll find her, but maybe you'll have more luck. I brought some hot cheese soup to cheer you up. Oh, thanks a lot, but first I should... Uh... Oh, never mind. The prisoner is gone anyway. No point in letting the tasty soup get cold. Just hide these metals in the straw. Enjoying your cheese soup? Yes, it's really good. 
But don't get your hopes up. I'm not sharing it. Do you reckon Pat Shelton is still up in his tower? I don't know, and I don't care. My colleagues in the main building are responsible for guarding the tower. I just have to watch the cell. Yes, with remarkable success. Do you think that's funny? Or do you fancy a new set of teeth? Go ahead. Then the other guards will come and see that the prisoner has gone, and you'll need more than a new set of teeth. What's that sparkling in the straw over there? Sparkling? What do you mean, sparkling? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. I don't know, and I don't care. What if it's something valuable? Why would there be anything valuable in there? Don't know. Maybe the prisoner hid something back there. Right. But you keep your hands off. It's all mine. After all, I'm the one responsible for this cell. Gold! It's gold! Maybe I'll find some more. Yes, there must be more here. Well then, have fun rummaging through all that moldy straw. I'm going to trigger the alarm. If I'm lucky, that will lure the guards out of the main building. And then Nina and I can make it to the tower without getting caught. Did you just do that? Yes. My father always said if you mess up, you have to face the consequences. Just look at it as a unique opportunity to face up to your problems. What's going on here? Well, it's not really what it looks like. What are you doing in the cell? And where's the prisoner? It's a long story. I... And what about those gold coins you've got in your hand? That should keep those two busy, and with any luck, the guards from the tower should already be on their way here, too. I'll just go and let Nina know. If there's any chance of stopping Shelton, now is the time to try. We made it this far. Now you need to get all the way to the top. Me? Then what will you be doing? Organizing a coffee party? Sure, with the guards. Somebody has to watch your back, after all. You're going back out there? It won't be long before they realize you're gone, and that I'm not as dead as they think, maybe. When that happens, there'll be quite an uproar here. But what are you going to do? Run around in circles and hope they don't catch you? I don't know. I'll think of something. Max? Yes? Take care. Remember what you promised. If anyone gets to kill you, it will be me. Yes, I know. Don't worry. You'll get to exercise that right someday. Actually, I'm more worried about you right now. It could be guards in the tower. Pat Shelton is definitely there. And even if the place were deserted, I'd have no idea how we can stop the disaster from happening. Just leave that to me. I've got an idea. Really? What idea? I don't have time to explain. <laughs> and not the slightest notion what this idea really involves. Yes, you're right. We should hurry. Here's some stuff I found. Maybe you'll find a use for some of it. Thanks. Be careful. I'd like to see you again. Same here. You be careful. I'm in luck. No guard to be seen anywhere. That just leaves Pat Shelton. Well... Pat Shelton and a bomb that may cause half the world's population to drown. Half the world's population, including my father. But it's not going to happen. I am here to foil this madman's evil plans. Shame about the nutritious soup, but if I take good aim... Would you care for some hot soup, Mr. Shelton? This should buy me some time. This panel controls nearly everything. If there's any way of preventing a disaster, it has to be through here.
The prophecies of Zandona. <laughs> Looks like that weirdo Pat Shelton likes to keep the concepts of his equally weird role model close at hand. No thanks, I wouldn't read something like that if you paid me, and it's too ugly for a paperweight. One of three buttons. Warning, you are about to change the settings for the alarm system at the main gate. Please press one to activate the alarm system. Any other number will deactivate the alarm system. Press enter to confirm or abort by pressing exit. Input process aborted. No changes were made. Warning, you are about to change the radio frequency between the bomb and the control station. Please enter the new frequency. Press enter to confirm or abort by pressing exit. Input process aborted. No changes were made. Warning, you are about to activate the self-destruct mechanism. Please enter the seven digit code. Press enter to confirm or abort by pressing exit. Input process aborted. No changes were made. A telephone. Unfortunately, all the cables are missing. The line is dead. Not surprising, really, with all the cables missing. A chip card. Evil villains may think they're something special, but most of them still can't remember numerical codes any better than the rest of us. I wonder what trick Shelton used to help him remember. Warning. You are about to change the settings for the alarm system at the main gate. Please press 1 to activate the alarm system. Any other number will deactivate the alarm system. Press enter to confirm or abort by pressing exit. The alarm system has been deactivated. Warning, you are about to change the radio frequency between the bomb and the control station. Please enter the new frequency. Press enter to confirm or abort by pressing exit. Radio frequency has been changed. Warning, you are about to activate the self-destruct mechanism. Please enter the seven digit code. Press enter to confirm or abort by pressing exit.
Warning, warning. The self-destruct mechanism has been activated. You can abort the process by re-entering the code. Here's a way to avert disaster. If I remove the card, this whole place will explode and the radio contact with the bomb will be interrupted. Yes, everything here would be blown to smithereens, including me and Max. But what choice do I have? Maybe I can make it if I run fast enough. That sometimes works, at least in movies. Okay, that was a rotten joke, but if I don't laugh right now, <laughs> I might cry. I knew it! The prodigal daughter is still there! You will never get out of here, my dear. I have locked the door on the first floor and the guards have been alerted. So don't make things difficult for the two of us. Just hand me the chip card and I may consider welcoming the prodigal daughter back with open arms. Up yours! Your impertinence is quite uncalled for. Be a good girl and give me that card. Otherwise, we are all going to die. And you wouldn't want that now, would you? No, but I like the alternative even less. At least this way, you get to die along with me. I must make sure that Shelton never gets the chip card. But I cannot keep hopping from floor to floor until the self-destruct mechanism reduces the whole place to rubble. The guy is armed. And if I can't think of a way to keep him at bay, he will get me sooner or later. Right, Nina? Think hard and fast. Shelton will come that way in a minute, and if I bump into him, I'll be dead, and he will get his hands on the chip card. What am I to do with this? Weigh myself? The situation is depressing enough as it is. cannot open the rusty lid. And simply throwing the canister at Shelton would be too much of a risk. If I throw too soon, it is pointless. If I throw too late, he will shoot me. I need an alternative, and fast. I cannot. There are little Weighing this now is not going... Shelton will come back. I cannot open the rusty lid. And simply throwing the canister at Shelton would be too much of a risk. If I throw too soon, it is pointless. If I throw too late, he will shoot me. I need an alternative, and fast. Shelton will come... Shelton will come. Weighing this now is not an old fashioned pain. Shelton will come.
What am I? Shelton will come. There are little red dots all over this world map. These must be the places where Puritas Cordis staged their artificial, natural disasters, if I'm not mistaken. Shelton will come. I could knock the statue over and have it block the way up. Rats, here comes Shelton. I need more time. I cannot. Judging from the holes in this canister, those guards are really good shots. Great idea. If I let the oil drip from the bullet holes, the slippery stairs will pose a problem for Shelton. This won't keep him at bay forever, but at least it will buy me some time. Now we will cut off the rope so that Shelton cannot get up here. Oh, there. I did it. The world is saved. And I'm about to die. I don't think I'm really cut out to be a heroine. Right now, I'd rather be... Oh, anywhere but here. I hope that Max will make it at least. But how could he? This explosion is going to blow everything here to kingdom come. Nobody can survive that. The system will self-destruct in 60 seconds. I'm so sorry, Max. There is so much I still wanted to tell you. This is the life. Blue skies, sunshine, the ocean, cocktails. And last but not least, me, the man of your dreams. Right. Don't you think a little thank you might be in order? Thank you? For what? Well, who just saved your butt for you? Not to mention the rest of the world. Hold on. If it wasn't for me, you'd still be languishing in Shelton's moldy old cell. Yeah, yeah. And who rescued you from the tower when the bomb was ticking? Well... Okay, maybe you did contribute a bit to getting us through this thing alive. A tiny little bit. Huh. What an ungrateful world we live in. Don't worry, you're still my hero. Finally. I was starting to think I'd have to wait forever to hear you say that. Oh, Max. The important thing is that we're both here now far away from any trouble. Yes, it was about time. No stress, no urgency, no disasters. And no other women. Sam, don't worry. 
She was never serious competition. I've forgotten her already. I should hope so. And now let us just enjoy the peace and quiet. Shall I get you another cocktail? What a wonderful idea. I'll have a sea breeze. Coming right up. With the number of natural disasters suddenly dropping so rapidly, and the danger no longer as immediate, the UN General Assembly naturally failed to decide on any concrete measures. A totally non-committal letter of intent was signed. Everything is back to normal. When Vladimir Kalenkov returned from the UN General Assembly in New York and heard about his daughter's adventures, he blew a fuse. He absolutely forbade Nina to ever use him as an excuse for her adventures again. Nina refused to comment. Two pilots known as Red 2 and Red 3 supposedly contributed greatly to the destruction of an enormous battle station. Rumor has it they keep reappearing in a famous series of Japanese role-playing games. Fleming Olsen was shocked to discover that the end of days is still a way off. Since his fortune has dwindled considerably due to his excessive travels, and probably won't last that long, he has gone back to working in the tourist industry. His adventure cruises on replicas of the Titanic, the Poseidon, and the Andrea Doria are all the rage among high society vacationers. Paparazzo Feng Li is rolling in money after making a deal with certain VIPs not to publish any more scandalous photographs. Smarty Pants Oscar was adopted by Sydney, the porter. They're traveling the seven seas together, appearing as a rumba duo on cruise ships. Sam Peters never reached the authorities where she had meant to get help. Her compass got smashed in the way, and she was out of signal rockets. So she wandered aimlessly and helplessly through the Indonesian jungle for a while. Weeks later, she came across a red-handed monkey that led her to a cove where she was picked up by a fishing boat. Any attempts at persuading Max to join her on an adventure entitled Two Lovers, One Secret Mission failed due to massive protest on Nina's part. Charismatic and eloquent, the frog in the mask from the Indonesian temple knew how to fascinate its peers at an early age. It soon had the temple guard on its side. The pair have been traveling the world by rail ever since and are often heard to say that they love dining on the fly. The snack stand owner has recently started raking in the money with his new e-business, selling fortune cookies with customized messages inside. He offers motivational messages for developers. Sleep is the enemy of success. Gimmicks for the press. Rate this game highly or you will sink low. Or package inserts for consumers. Those without expectations will always be content. The areas of application are practically infinite. The homeless man quit drinking and finally remembered his past existence as Detective Kansky. He tripped up trying to fish a 10-cent coin from the wishing well, hit his head, lost his memory again, and became a famous eccentric actor. The surveyor was busted when he took the cup wrapped in aluminum foil to his fence who tried to sell it to a famous art collector. Now he's cooling his heels in jail with a cellmate who plays the harmonica all day. To his great regret, they took away the heavy equipment from his SUV before they locked him up. The police officer got tired of the constant wailing of the harmonica and the surveyor's endless protestations of innocence. She quit her job and now works in doping control at important cycling events. Mr. Rossi is still seeking his fortune. And the car rental firm is still seeking Mr. Rossi, having discovered the sloppily fixed scratch on the expensive sports car. Encouraged by his success with the monkey, the zookeeper tried to teach the crocodile to play fetch. He got a new job as a hook-handed pirate in a well-known theme park near Paris. Prison guard Spivak miraculously survived the huge explosion and decided to take a break from standing guard over heroes. He worked hard to perfect the world's best cheese soup. He appeared in a few cookery shows, but then chose to return to his original profession. He has a few job interviews coming up.